Hi guys, welcome to Everything Blockchain. This video is part 3 in our series on decentralized identity. If you're new here, I suggest you watch part 1 and 2. But if you're here to understand the differences between NFTs and VCs, let's get started. NFTs stand for non-fungible tokens. But what are fungible and non-fungible items? Let's understand that with the help of examples. Fungible items are eligible for replacement or substitution, like you have your dollar bills, Bitcoin, whereas non-fungible items like airline tickets, trading cards and real estate are unique and they aren't interchangeable. In short, a non-fungible item cannot be equal to another item. So now that you understand the term non-fungible, let's get back to NFTs. NFTs are unique digital assets that represent ownership of items like art, video clips, music, collectibles, Indian items, etc. Their use isn't confined to just digital art, although they may have gained immense popularity because of it, but it's being used, like I said, in gaming, as social tokens, and much more. While on the surface and conceptually, it may appear that both NFTs and VCs represent identity, so they're the same, but that isn't the case. In reality, the data that they represent has a difference in the way it's used, and it's a rather important technical difference. VCs, or verifiable credentials, are associated with individuals and can be stored digitally, as is the case with NFTs. However, NFTs represent ownership of digital assets or resources, whereas VCs represent facts or details about the subject, which could be an entity, organization, or even an individual like you and me. Also, it's important to note VCs can rely on any distributed ledger technology, basically any verifiable data registry. Before we proceed to the difference between the two standards, let me tell you what the two actually have in common. Well, both are based on cryptography and digital signatures. The main use case of VCs, however, is focused on identity. For example, let's say someone claims their name to be John. The verifier in the case is not trusting John for his word, but an independent third party that corroborates John's claim that he is in fact John. Now, this third party could be a government entity who would have issued him a national ID or driver's license. So VCs made possible a world where data available is trustworthy and verifiable cryptographically and there is little to no reliance on self-attested data. See what I'm talking about? Now let's move on to the differences. NFTs are associated with public wallet addresses, meaning anyone with the address can view the NFTs the user owns or in fact has ever owned. Whereas VCs are privacy preserving and aren't publicly viewable. However, users can share the credential when required. Also, they allow for selective disclosure, that is disclosing only what is needed. I mean, think about it. Your passport is your credential. Would you want that to be publicly viewable? All personal identifiable information in case of VCs is off chain. The data that is actually stored on the blockchain is the decentralized identifier of the issuer of the credential. This is a huge privacy benefit and it inherently clashes with the layout and design of NFTs which like I said are publicly viewable. Now let's talk about implementations. VCs use public key infrastructure and digital signatures. NFTs are based on blockchain and timestamp making the verification process relatively easy. Additionally, any change or transfer in ownership is known and trackable, bringing us to transferability. VCs represent the credentials of the holder, so VCs aren't transferable and they cannot be traded. The holder always owns them. NFTs, however, can change ownership. Let me give you an example that will help you understand the difference better. Say an NFT is your ticket to a big event. It essentially grants you access to attend the event. However, you can sell this access or the NFT to someone else. This is how NFTs are tradable or transferable. Now the new owner of the NFT can attend the event. However, with a VC, the representation is your identity and it cannot be sold. 
therefore it represents you exclusively and is issued directly by the appropriate party last but not least is the element of scarcity the more scarce the nft the greater its value will be but for vcs this is not true as they represent the identity of an entity their value is independent of supply or speculation so those are the differences between nfts and vcs so that's it in our three part series on decentralized identity if you're interested in learning more we've brought you covered we've actually written about decentralized identity at length i'll drop the link in the description box for you to give it a read i'll be back with more such videos till then take care bye